Good day STEM students. Today I will teach you on how to rewrite the equation of a circle from standard form to general form. Recall the standard form of a circle we have quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equals to r squared. And if we will expand the standard form of a circle, we can actually derive the general form of a circle given by this equation but the question is how are we going to convert from standard to general okay let's have an example i have here an equation in standard form given quantity of x minus 5 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equals to 9 so the first thing that we need to do is we need to expand the quantity of x minus 5 squared and the quantity of y minus 3 squared. This format is actually a square of a binomial. If we try to recall the product of a square of a binomial, okay, let's have a review on getting the product of a square of a binomial. So if you have an expression a quantity of x plus a quantity squared the product of x plus a quantity squared or the product of x plus a times x plus a is equivalent to x squared plus 2ax plus a squared what I did is just I take the squared of the first term then for the second term is I multiplied the first term and the second term by a constant 2 then take the squared of the second term so say for example if we are given an expression quantity of x plus 4 squared x is the first term 4 is the second term so the first step you squared the first term so x squared is x squared or x times x is x squared you multiply the first term and the second term by a constant 2 so 4 times x is 4x times a constant 2 that's 8x then squared the second term 4 times 4 is 16 therefore the product of quantity of x plus 4 squared is x squared plus 8x minus 16 now how are we going to solve for the product if the operation is subtraction so given quantity of x minus a squared to solve for the product of this expression or of this factor you take the squared of the first term since that's subtraction or that's minus so expected that the middle term the, the operation of the middle term is subtraction you multiply a times x is ax times the constant 2 so you have 2ax then you take or you squared the second term so negative a times negative a that's obviously positive a squared so say for example if you have a quantity x minus 2 squared you square the first term you have x squared you multiply negative 2 times x is negative 2x times the constant 2 so you have negative 4x then Square the second term, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. So the product is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we will apply these steps in expanding quantity of x minus 5 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared. So here let's, uh, let's solve for the x group first x is the first term negative 5 is the second term you, you squared the first term so you have x squared to solve for the middle term you multiply negative 5 times x is negative 5x times the constant 2 so you have negative 10x then you squared the second term negative 5 times negative 5 that's positive 25 so this is now the product for the x group now for the y group your first term is y your second term is negative 
3. The square root of the first term, you have y squared. You multiply the first term and the second term by the constant 2. Negative 3 times y is negative 3y times the constant 2, you have negative 6y. Then you squared the second term, negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9 is equal to 9. So, this serves as the product of the quantity of y minus 3 squared. Then, simplify. Combine the two constant terms in the left side of the equation. You have 25 plus 9 is 34. You have x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 6y plus 34 is equal to 9. Now, if you try to observe the general form of the equation of a circle, the right-hand side should be equal to 0. And in this case, we still have 9 on the right side. So we need to transpose 9 on the left side by adding the additive inverse of positive 9 on both sides of the equation. So we have x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 6y plus 34. The additive inverse of positive 9 is negative 9. So we will add negative 9 on both sides of the equation. So 34 plus negative 9 and that's equal to 0. Okay, simplify. So I'm now going to arrange the equation in this form. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 6y and 34 minus 9 is equivalent to that's positive 34 minus 9 okay that's positive 25 is equal to 0. So, this equation now serves as the general form of a circle. Okay? So, let's try to have another example. So, let's have an uh, for our second example, the given equation now is quantity of x plus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equal to 4. So, again, our goal here is to uh, transform from this equation in standard form. We need to transform it to general form. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to expand this expression and this expression. So applying the product of a square of a binomial. So we have x squared plus 2x times the constant 2. So we have 4x plus squared the second term is 4 then for y group squared the first term negative 3 times y times the constant 2 we have negative 6y plus 9 is equal to 4 okay simplify the two constants in the left side of the equation so you have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y plus 13 is equal, is equal to 4. Then we need to transpose 4 here by adding 
both sides of the equation by the additive inverse of 4 which is negative 4 so we add negative 4 here so you have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y positive 13 plus negative 4 that's positive 9 is equal to 0 so this is now the general form of the equation of a circle so that's it for now so if you have any questions please do not hesitate to comment your questions and clarifications using our discussion board in our google classroom so have a nice day stem students